Hi guys, welcome back to More Lost, Season 5, Episode 7, The Life and Death of Jeremy Bentham. Are you looking forward to this one, Trin? Tell me, because you know everything and what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm looking forward for every next episode, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I tried, guys. She's not giving anything. Um, <laughs> what I am concerned of, though, is we ended on the Jin reveal that he's possibly part of the Dharma Initiative. He's wearing the overalls. Yeah. He's driving the camper van. And he has a gun. But this episode is called The Life and Death of Jeremy Bentham. <laughs> now, while this would have been intriguing to me episodes ago, is now annoying me. <laughs> because unless it's <laughs> interspersed with moments of gin in Dharma Initiative, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're screwing me over, man. Um, but the only way I'm going to find out is to watch it. So what do you say we just hit play? Yes. Okay, well, let's just get into the episode. Let's go. Nobody recognizes him? No, whoever he is, he didn't come with us. And how do we know he isn't one of the ones who disappeared? He's not. And how do you know? Because he wasn't so on the So where was he on the island that we had that office? Because this is the island. I thought that was a flashback. Hello. Hello. My name is Caesar. That sounded like Locke. My name is John Locke. Jesus. I knew, I knew he wouldn't be dead dead. <laughs> you can't kill off John Locke like that. So the island, you know, it, it gave him his legs back, so it gave him his life back. <laughs> That's some power. The island has some power. I think this suit is what they were going to bury me in. Sorry? You asked what I remembered. I remember dying. Hmm. That would explain the reason he's stand, standing in the water like it's the first time and eating yeah. a mango like it's the first time. Oh, is he the same place? Oh, yeah, his leg is bad. Ugh. <laughs> Tunisia, again. Yeah, same place, isn't it? Yeah. It seems like the same place. Is it a different time period, though? Because there's telegraph poles this time, isn't there? Oh, and CCTV, apparently. I, he's not going to pull a Ben. He isn't, he isn't capable of taking on guys with guns. Oh, come on! <laughs> Jesus. Legit Tunisian uh, plates there. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how they, they picked him up and then went straight back. The other, he, they were there for him. Definitely there for him. Oh, it's this mysterious man again. Where yep. are we? He must recognise him because he was in a wheelchair last time he saw him, wasn't he? Oh, and he said, next time you see me, you'll thank me. Ooh. That's not even fun. No, it's not fun to see it again. Oh, I, <laughs> I can't imagine the pain. John. John. That's Whitmore. I know that voice. Do I know you? Oh, in the past, right? I understand you being confused. Imagine how I feel. I met you when I was 17. Yeah. Now all these years later, here we are. You look exactly the same. Who are you? My name is Charles Whitmore. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you help me? Because there's a war coming, John. And if you're not back on the island, when that happens, the wrong side is going to win. Interesting. <laughs> Obviously, I'm forced to assume it's a war between Widmore and Benjamin Linus. You need to reach me for anything. Just press 2 3. The folder contains your people's whereabouts. Everyone that was on the island that left. Well, Saeed, the roof builder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do I know that you're not the one who's lying? I haven't tried to kill you. You just say the same for him? Do you? <laughs> no, I can't say that. The island needs you, John. It has for a long time. What makes you think I'm so special? Because you are. He's been hearing that his whole life, and no one's been able to explain exactly why. <laughs> yeah, everyone was telling him the same. <laughs> yeah. He said I would die. I beg your pardon? Richard Alpert said the only way to get them to come back was if I died. Yeah, that's true. I heard that. I don't know why he said that. I'm not going to let that happen. This is Matthew Abaddon. Matthew. Take you anywhere you need to go. Protect you from whomever intends to do you harm. We have a name. Yeah. Mr. Locke? 
He must recognize him. He's just not mentioning it or something. Oh, no. We've been here before. Yeah. He's been given the five-star treatment as soon as he got here, that's for sure. And I'm guessing bef wow. <laughs> before Ben got to him, because Bentham was here... No, I don't know when. I don't know if he's going to be <laughs> second or not. This is the only way we're going to save them. I'm not going back. For two years, I was manipulated into thinking I was protecting everyone. Okay, after. <laughs> <laughs> if you change your mind, I'll be staying under the name Jeremy Bentham in L.A. at the Westerfield Hotel. And if you change your mind, you're welcome to come back here and do some real good. I, I, I get why he's not pushing. He just knows not to force it, but... I don't know if you're going to get anyone like this. And he obviously didn't, did he? Because none of them were on board. <laughs> Apart from Jack, yeah. Jack had his mind twisted. So I'm interested to see that interaction. Because that, that sent Lock, uh, Jack over the edge. Her name is Helen. Helen Norwood. And she was living in Los Angeles. Oh. Is she no girlfriend of yours? Oh, he's got his coffee as well. Let me get out of the car. <laughs> Call back to his stalking days. <laughs> yeah. So that's Michael Dawson, son, huh? Yeah. It's well. And he felt him there. And I'm so glad he didn't run off. I thought, oh, here we go. Yeah. No, he wants I to come Walt, and chat. Yeah, I was waiting for people to come and see him. Last I heard, your dad was on a freighter near the island. So why'd you come to see me? I just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm doing pretty good. It was good seeing you, John. Yeah, take care. So he was actually thinking about convincing him to go back. I feel like a, an attack of guilt. Yeah. That's over too, Mr. Luck. Yeah. Maybe I misunderstood, but I thought you had to bring everyone back. I only need to convince one, and if I can do that, the rest will come. Jack. And maybe I was mistaken, but I thought you were my driver. Oh. <laughs> he's looking so dapper. He looks so <laughs> dapper when he's not on the island. So sharp. Oh, this will be a good one. He's going to think he's dead. Like 100% the whole time, probably. Yeah, he's not even phased. So you didn't make it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hugo, I'm not dead. Sure you're not. No, I, I promise you, I'm very much alive. Hey, Susie, am I talking to a dude in a wheelchair right now? Yep. <laughs> there you go. And Sean's, like, got her baby, and Kate's got Aaron. Dude, be cool. Don't look. But we're being watched. Dude. It'll be the yeah, it'll be him. <laughs> when I first got locked up in here, he showed up claiming that he worked for Oceanic Air. He's evil. You should not be trusting that guy. Please just listen to me. No, 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 I'm not listening to you. I want to go back in. Go. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. Go away. Bye. Bye. Get out of here. Okay. So we know how that went. That's over four? No, over three. It's for three, yeah. You're not really gonna pretend you don't remember that I was an orderly in the hospital right after your accident? That I was the one who told you to go on your walkabout? The same walkabout that put you on the plane that crashed on that island? No, I remember. I help people get to where they need to get to job. That's what I do for Mr. Whitmore. Interesting. But yeah, how, how he's not affected anyone yet, because we know he never did, but his death did make an impact, so that's why he had to die. Yeah. Because that was the impact overall through that whole part that we saw, that we didn't see his body. I think about how desperate you were to stay on that island. And then I realized it was all because you didn't love anybody. That's not true. He did, Helen, once. I loved someone. Her name was Helen. What happened? Oh, take a seat. <laughs> An evil father. <laughs> mm. I was angry. I was obs obsessed. Look how far you've come. Very true. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's his life story. It's been like that. It's one obsession after the other. The hatch, the button. Yeah. Other things. <laughs> Saeed was in the middle of nowhere, but you can't find Helen because she moved. Your job is to get people to where She's they need dead, to get She's dead, isn't she? Well, I need to get to her. She's going to be dead. Because there's no way he can't find her. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Because she isn't even hiding. Yeah, here we are in a cemetery. Here we go. Really? Oh, well, that's just that's just tragic. She died of a brain aneurysm. Oh. I'm very sorry, Mr. Locke. Helen Locke. Very nearly Helen Locke. Oh, shit. 
That's not Saeed, is it? It's usually Saeed when this comes to guns and bullets and blood. I didn't think he'd be that easy to take out. I thought he was like a Richard Alpert, immortal kind of thing. Unless he's still alive. <laughs> like, <laughs> I wouldn't put anything past the show, to be honest. Oh, man. Who killed him? Matthew, wasn't it? Matthew Abaddon. That probably wasn't his real name. There's no way that's his real name. <laughs> what hell of a name. But it's the only Abaddon. name we got, yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, it led him right here. Jack, how did you find me? You were in a car accident. You were brought into my hospital. What are you doing here? He's, he's growing it, isn't he? He's growing the old beard. <laughs> yeah. Why would someone try to kill you? Because they don't want me to succeed. They want to stop me. They don't want me to get back because I'm important. None of this is going to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are just a lonely old man that crashed on an island. That's it. Same conversation Goodbye, four seasons later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly the same. <laughs> Your father says hello. Oh, oh, he figured it out. The man who told me to move the island, the man who told me how to bring you all back, he said to tell his son hello. It couldn't have been Saeed's father, and it wasn't Hurley's. True. That leaves you. He said his name was Christian. There you go, mate. And this is why mm. he gets twisted. You have to help me. You're supposed to help me. John, it's over. It's done. We left, and we were never important. So you, you leave me alone, and you leave the rest of them alone. I think there's a part of him that believes Locke, but there's just an overwhelming part of stubbornness to just refuse, yeah. you know. Yeah, it seems like just refusal to accept fate or faith or anything of that. Yeah. You can see he's tried everyone. Saeed, Kate, Jack. It's still... Uh, Hurley, yeah. Son. Oh, son, yeah, he didn't do that. I'm guessing at this point, though, she'd still be in Korea, right? I don't think she'd be mm. in L.A. yet. So that's going to be a phone call if he actually does speak to Sun. But she never said she spoke to Jeremy Bentham. Oh, wow. He is straight up going to do it himself. He's going to hang himself with a flex. What makes him think this is going to make any difference? He says you have to die. He didn't say you have to kill yourself, did it? No, no one said that. I know it was mentioned that he hung himself. Someone said it. Oh. I think someone said it. They said about hanging himself. And I thought, I, I just didn't believe it. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought he was going to fall. What are you doing? It's Ben. Wait, no, stop. don't, don't, don't. Stop. What, what are you doing here? John, just calm down. What do you want from me? Please let me help. Answer the question! I'm trying to protect you. Protect me. You shot him. You killed Abaddon. Ah. Oh. Yes. Okay. He was working for Charles Widmore. He's extremely dangerous. No! Widmore came to me. He saved me. No, Johnny used you. I don't know who to believe. <laughs> help him get to the island. Charles Widmore is the reason I moved the island. So that he could never find it again. To keep him away so that you could leave. Ben's making good points. The whole reason to move the island was Widmore. That was the whole point. John, you have no idea how important you are. Oh, he keeps uh, hearing it, yeah. I couldn't get any of them. I couldn't get a single one of them to come back with me. I can't lead anyone. Jack booked a ticket. Oh, he bought several tickets. What? A plane ticket from Los Angeles to Sydney tonight. Yeah, because he was on a spiral, wasn't he? You can't die. You've got too much work to do. We've got to get you back to that island so that you can do it. I don't know what to think. <laughs> yeah, it is super confusing. <laughs> he's untying the he's untying the noose. Please, John. Okay, loving Come Ben on. right now because. I don't want to... Oh, I, I, I feel for Locke, honestly. Uh, it's 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 heartbreaking as hell. I know we can do this, John. You haven't even been to Sun yet. Oh, yeah, so you didn't... No, I... Oh, he promised. I promised Jin that I wouldn't bring her back. Yeah, he Jin did. Is alive? Yeah. But Ben said he, Locke killed himself. He's the one who said it. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on. I don't know. I don't like this. It, it, you can see Ben's wheels turning in his head. She shouldn't be that hard to find. Her name is Eloise Hawking. Eloise Hawking. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why? Do you know her? Yes, John. I know no, her. No, no, I... I, I, oh, I, I, I 
yeah. knew it. Deep down, I knew it. No. Why would you stop him killing? Oh, you just needed the information. That's so cruel. Yeah. He should remember it's Ben. <laughs> it, it just, it's not fair. Just more Ben manipulation right from the start. Oh, and he's, oh God, he, he's hung him. He's actually done it. This is morbid staging the whole thing. Oh my God. Part of me at the beginning thought Ben actually gives a shit. And then <laughs> just when he was like, like the whole thing about Jin not being dead and stuff, you could tell he was thinking, I, I don't like this. And yet deep down, a part of me always knew Ben killed Locke. I'll miss you, John. I really will. His eyes. And I believe that as well when he says he'll miss him. But now we know, now we know what happened. Yep. And why he didn't approach Sun. It, it wasn't because he was too lazy or didn't have time. He, he kept his word. He actually did keep his word. And everyone's accounted for, all the people, uh, other than the, the ones who disappeared. Yeah, yeah, except for the people who got hurt. The people who got hurt? What people who got hurt? This is a reveal. It's right near the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> who? Let me guess. Libby, Anna, Lucia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's going to be Ben, isn't it? Because he's not one of the original people. He'll be there with him. He'll be there with him. That's what it is. You know him? Come on. Come on, I'm right. I know yeah. I'm right. Yes, I know I'm right. Yes, I know I'm right. <laughs> he's the man who killed me. Boom! Oh, what an ending. Okay, okay. Oh, fantastic. I mean, I was kind of disappointed we didn't get a continuation with the gin and the Dharma jumpsuit and camper van and stuff like that, but... I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. it was a good episode. <laughs> um, a part of me, when I, I knew I knew Ben was back, and when we found out for one hundred percent that Jeremy Bentham was Locke, of course, I'm thinking Ben killed Locke. But I, I'm thinking that's exactly what I'm supposed to believe. I'm sure, <laughs> and why I don't believe it yet. I need proof, and I just got it. I mean, like I say, you see it happen, it happened. If you don't see it happen, it didn't happen. Yeah. It's just hearsay, it's just words. It needs to, you know, it needs to unfold in front of you. And, yeah, that was, it was a really good episode. And it, there's so many little things going on. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like you said, it's um, one of those things, you know the outcome, like you know that everyone in the end when like joined the flight and stuff mm. but yeah the this episode is really like showing how it was how it happened and it and it's a strong episode because even if you know the outcome you're still surprised <laughs> yeah <laughs> with things and little details it yeah yeah I, I just think it's really sad for him to come in and stop lock king, killing himself just to kill him we know why he did it it makes sense from a Ben point of view, but from a human point of view, it's the most disgusting, sick, twisted yeah. thing I can ever think of. To take him out of that mood, give him hope, make him not want to die, when he was ready to die, just to flip it and make and kill him when he didn't want to die, is so disgusting. It's really bad. And I do believe that when Ben said, I'll miss you, he had no reason to say that to a corpse. Yeah. So I believe him when he says it. But he did it anyway, because he'll do anything for the island. He's proved it so many times. And what made Locke go there so quickly? He tried everyone, and it must have been just rooted in his head, you have to die. Oh, well, that's the last thing I have to try, is die. Yeah. Abaddon told him, like, no matter what you do or what you try to do, the outcome will be the same. So yeah. he probably just wanted a shortcut, you know. So like, oh, okay. <laughs> too much. <laughs> if it's too much effort and the fact that I'm dead is the key, well, <laughs> let, let's do it. <laughs> but it seems like a more focused lock, doesn't it? He's very yeah. focused. He's very, I don't know. Like there was a time when Locke felt that way. And then there was a time where he was just so unsure for the longest time about everything. And he comes back from the dead and he seems focused again. Yeah. So I find that interesting because it's almost like he's not even worried or panicked about what to do next. He just wants the passenger manifest. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted to know if Ben was on it, maybe. And now he knows. I don't know. Um, uh, there's a lot. There's lots more to unpack as we go. I... I really don't know what else to say about this episode other than <laughs> I, I 
it was one of the saddest moments yeah. to see because, like I say, that going from I'm ready to die, oh, you saved me, I don't want to die, to then killing him was just disgusting. I, I, it's going to sit with me a while, that. That's really <laughs> hor- that's hor- horrific. It's one of the, it's 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 almost like horror level gore without seeing any blood, for me, to take someone out of that mode. Oh yeah. To then just take it away from it, it, yeah it's it's gonna sit with me. Uh, I've got nothing else to say on this episode other than I I can't, I hope the next episode is something a bit more light, maybe gin, <laughs> in the Dharma Initiative, <laughs> but I also wouldn't mind seeing. I mean I'm eager to see what happens with. Lock and Ben now. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, if you're Ben, you run for the hills, man. You, oh, yeah. You, you, you go. There's no, <laughs> no way you're hanging about for the retribution that's going to come your way. So with that said, then, we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Cheers. Bye, guys.